welcome back to Fox 23 News. I'm Nicole Menner. The Southern Miss baseball team took on Southern University in a midweek game last night, coming off a week where the Golden Eagles won back-to-back 12-run -back contests. And they kept that momentum going to start play for this week. Southern Miss scored double-digit runs for the eighth time this season, breaking open a scoreless game in the sixth inning. Gabe Montenegro led his team, driving in a career-high four runs, while Eric Hord hit his first home run as an Eagle here in the eighth. USM won big 12-1, getting their seventh consecutive win. They'll head to Florida Atlantic University this weekend to play in their first conference USA Road Series of the season. All right, it's back. Southern Miss celebrated the first day of spring by kicking off their spring football season, even though it was cold and windy yesterday. The Eagles spent the day taking on individual drills with a lot of early enrollees on the field, thanks to a new NCAA rule change allowing for December high school signing day. This will be Coach Jay Hobson's third year with the program. To me, that's what spring is. You, know, you just want to see your football team get better, and you want to see them grow each day. So hopefully, um, you know, Thursday we'll have an even better day. But again, I thought it was a good start today. Again, a lot of things we'll go on film. We got to correct a lot of things, but I, I really liked the way we came out today. You know, I meant what I said. I thought we, I thought we gave great effort today. I liked the intensity. Uh, I saw some young guys do some things today, which I was pleased with. But uh, again. We've got to keep making steps, and uh, this is just day one of a 15-day spring practice, so hopefully we'll, you know, the big thing in spring is to get better, you know, as we go throughout, and hopefully we'll do that. News coming last week that New Orleans Saints and Pelicans owner Tom Benson passed away at the age of 90. Today, dozens in Louisiana lined up to pay their respects. His body is lying at the Notre Dame Seminary in New Orleans, where it will remain for two days for people to say their goodbyes. A private funeral is set to take place on Friday, Drew Brees, Sean Payton, Anthony Davis, and Alvin Gentry are set to be honorary pallbearers. Bundle up, NASCAR fans, because even though spring began yesterday, it's wintry conditions at Martinsville Speedway in Virginia. A fresh blanket of snow came down on the tracks earlier today with forecasts calling for snow into the weekend, potentially impacting the Xfinity race on Saturday and the Cup Series on Sunday. Drivers, of course, used to dealing with rain and fog, but snow, a bit different story. The last time a race was delayed due to snow was back in 2008 in Atlanta, so hopefully things will clear out. I don't think there's any doubt that a healthy Tiger Woods is good for golf. The 14-time major champion has missed most of the last few years dealing with back and knee injuries, but since his return this year, Tiger has started turning some heads, including his own with his game. To be in contention, if you would ask me, you know, the beginning of the year, that I would have had a chance to win two golf tournaments. Um, that's, uh, that would have been, I would have taken that in a heartbeat. Tiger will now look towards the Masters. That event tees off April 5th in Georgia. Sticking on the green, some of the world's best golfers are taking part in a bracket-style tournament, the WGC Dell Technologies Match Play in Austin, where 64 players are in groups of four. They'll play round-robin matches until they emerge into a 16-man bracket for the weekend, with nobody being eliminated until Friday. Hmm. Hmm. Taking a... Uh... Some tips from March Madness with the bracket yeah. style. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I think it gets more people excited about it. I heard it. Jordan Spieth in an interview yesterday saying he didn't think it was quite fair the, the way the brackets <laughs> matched up for them at this tournament. Ah, but we'll we see. We'll see. We'll see who gets bounced on Friday. <laughs> Thanks.